Hello, Richard here. Um, today we're looking at a dock for the GPD Pocket. This is an Orico CDHU3 dock, which I purchased from AliExpress for around $40. Um, it's got three USB-A ports and a HDMI port. And in my opinion, it's a really decent dock for the GPD Pocket because it works very well. So, you can demonstrate this by plugging it in. And we'll see that the dock charges the pocket. Um, the interesting thing is with this dock is it will actually come up fully charged. Which, as you might know, the pocket doesn't always seem to um, say it's fully charged. It just goes back to battery, which is odd. Why it works on this, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so we have working USB data, which you can see here with this keyboard and mouse, which is plugged into the dock. And we have working 1080p video output. Um, so, yeah, this is a really nice dock for your GPD pocket. It has a silver aluminium finish, which really does match the pocket's finish. And another really nice feature about this dock is that it will work when it is not plugged into power as well. So if we go ahead and unplug the power adapter, just uh, for argument's sake, I'm using a anchor 45 volt USB-C charger. Now if we go ahead and plug this in, we will see that we have again USB data working well and USB-C video output and no charging of course because we're not plugged in but this gives you enough power to run a keyboard and mouse and maybe a memory stick. The USB hard drive, then it won't work unless you're plugged in here. But other than that, yeah, decent dock. Now this does have its own internal uh, 5 volt supply, so when you plug this into a USB Type-C power source, it will charge the pocket at whatever voltage the power source supports. So this one will support 9 volts and will charge the pocket at 9 volts. With a power adapter that supports 11 volts, it will charge the pocket at 11 volts. But the USB ports, type A ports on the back, will still work at 5 volts, but being powered from the external power source. So when this is plugged in with an external power source, a USB A hard drive will work really quite well. You'll see that now we now have uh, it is now charging again. And the USB video, uh, the USB data now has stopped working, which is something I found with this hub. So you have to choose whether to use it in powered or unpowered mode. And if you switch between the two, it's best to re plug it just to be on the safe side. And you'll see now we have power and we have uh, video data. So yeah. Really nice, uh, nice hub. Definitely recommend it. Um, it's great for your pocket. Matches portable. Works well. And yeah, where any criticism is, this Type C port on here is a bit loose. I've noticed other reviews on AliExpress saying the same thing. So your mileage might vary. Um, the only reason why it's saying it's um, say it's saying it's not charging, but that's because it's fully charged and. You saw at the start, sometimes it says fully charged, sometimes it just does that weird thing. Um, so, yeah, this is a very nice dock for your pocket. Certainly recommend picking one up if you're looking for a dock for your pocket. And the nice thing about this is it's not really that much more expensive than a hub with a captive cable. And you can change the cable. I'm just using a Thunderbolt 3 cable here because they're the most reliable in my experience. But you can use a 1 meter Type C cable or even a 2 meter Type C cable if you can find one of high quality and it will work. So great if you want to put the dock at the back of your desk and just have the pocket at the front. Or likewise, then you can throw it in your bag with a really short cable just to give you some more ports and a HDMI output. So yeah, really nice little dock. Definitely recommend uh, picking one up and um, thanks for watching. Let me know if you've got any questions and yeah, have a good day.